I'm Vijay from MB100 and here in this short session we are going to discuss all 30 questions of mathematics and logical reasoning that appeared in testnet 2023. We are definitely going to give you the correct answers as well. Is the first question. The shape of a bus stand is triangular such that it has 279 buses in the first row. Answer to this question was 138. All right. This question, the actual answer should have been 240, okay? But the intended answer, the answer that they intended to get is 100 meters. So rather than the total travel, they expected you to give the answer of displacement, okay? But that is not what the question was. We are going to challenge this question, don't you worry, okay? Now here. Another faulty question, so to say, okay? Their intended answer is 55%. Okay, if you put the formula, this is what you get. But there are many things that would make you believe that the question itself is erroneous, is inconsistent, it's not possible. In a class, 21% students read subject A. So when 21% read subject A, the total percentage that read all three will certainly be less than or equal to 21%. All the options were above 21%. And moreover, even if we assume that sets A, B and C are pairwise mutually disjoint, okay, their sum would be how much? 27, 28, 48 and 34, uh, 82. Isn't that 21% and 27% how much? 48%, 48 and 34. 82, all right? So, percentage of people doing at least, belonging to at least one of these three sets has to be less than or equal to, has to be less than or equal to 82. How can it be 95? Okay, so question is faulty. Here, the answer is of course, two numbers, 24 and 42. By the way, how many of you marked just one as your answer? One would be incorrect. Answer should be 24 and 42. Isn't that? All right. Hope you didn't mark one as your answer. Ashok said that he was born on 29th February 1900. Of course, Ashok is lying. Okay. 1900 was not a leap year. I'm sure we all know. For what value of k, you just had to equate the slopes of a, b and b, c. That would have given you the answer as zero. k is zero. 600 liters of 12% acid solution. Yeah, the answer was x is greater than 120, less than 300. Two tasks, simple question on probability, but many people do not feel comfortable with it somehow. I do not know why. But here the answer is 7 by 20, and it was very simple. 7 by 8 into 2 by 5. That is all that you needed to do. Okay. All right. Here, of course, the answer is 9 root 3. Because 512 plus 2, 16 plus 1, that gives you 729. Okay. So, of uh, the bigger cube, the edge is of 9 centimeter. So, 9 root 3 centimeter would be the diagonal. Okay. Now, here, this was a conceptual question. The volume would not change. Why would it change? Right? Okay. Decimal equivalent. Now, what is this? Yes, they do ask a few such questions on testnet, right? The answer is 0 0.0625. Hmm. Those people who do not feel comfortable with the basics of statistics would have left it after reading half the question. Okay, it was a very simple question and the answer is 3. Okay, which of the following is equal to 3 to the power 5 plus 1 by 3 to the power 5? How can you get a question easier than this? Can you? All right, this is the answer. In a university, the ratio of faculty members and students is 1 is to 9. Okay. So here the answer was 5 is to 8. Take number of faculty members as 100 and number of students as 900. Okay. And then uh, number of female uh, faculty members would be 25. And number of female students would be 600. So 625 divided by 1000 is 5 by 8. That's your answer. 20% and 10%. Okay. Two successive discounts or other uh, increase will give you an increase of 32%. That's your answer. Okay. Again, another simple question. 1500 plus 180. 
Okay, 1100 plus 165, isn't that? So 180 plus 165, 345 is your answer. Now what about this? This is actually a story. If you read it, you will get the answer. Okay, while going they traveled 8 kilometers. Okay, and the ratio of speeds in going up and coming down is uh, 2 is to 3. So while uh, coming down, the total distance would be 1 and a half times 8, so 12. Okay, now here, all those people who are not very careful would have got the answer as 1 by 900. Why? 0 to 30. So they might have taken the sample space as 30 into 30 into 30. And it would be 31 into 31 into 31 because from 0 to 30 there are 31 numbers and not 30. Right? Like from 6 to 10 there are 5, 5 numbers not 4. Alright? From m to n, where n is greater than m, the number of numbers is n minus m plus 1, not n minus m. Keep that in mind. Okay? Alright. Now, here we do not remember all the options, but we very clearly remember that the correct answer was statement 1 and 3. They were incompatible. Okay? This is age-old puzzle, which most of us are asked when we are in uh, class 5 or 6. So the answer is of course inference was not correct. He did not owe anything to the bank and the bank also did not owe anything to him. All right. Okay. The minute and a half a clock. Here what the answer would be? 2 by 3. Okay. Into 2 pi r. 2 pi into 1.5. That is what your answer would be. Isn't that? All right. 6.28 centimeter. Okay, and why 2 by 3? 40 minutes, not 60 minutes. In 60 minutes, the circumference would be complete. So, only 2 third of the circumference. Okay. Wow, here, the answer is, this question was uh, based on, it just checked you for your calculation, how efficient you are in calculating certain ratios. Okay. Answer is 45 percent. Here, the answer is 350. And if you got this, I'm sure, you would get this also very easily, 1354. Okay? This was the actual data. And these were the questions. Okay, here. Now, this was one of the better questions. It had some flavor of cat. Cat's DILR. Okay, so here the answer is at most 3.79. Alright. Here the answer was 11.89. And to this question, the answer was 30%. All right, this answer key is 100% accurate. Then you had uh, one set like this as well. Okay, look at it carefully. This was one of the questions on how many days more than half of the total number of vehicles exceeded the speed limits on locations 1 and 2. The answer is 4. Every day, on every day except Tuesday. Okay. All right. On which day or days does the least number of vehicles exceed the speed limits? Look at the table. Look at the table. The answer is 14. The least number is 14 of those five numbers. Okay. And Monday and Wednesday are the two days. All right. Which of the following statements is true? The correct option here was on Friday, the number of incidents was greater than 15. All right. So we believe that one could have attempted some 26, 27 questions here and a good score would be 23, a very good score would be 23, 24. A good score is 21 and above. All right. So please join our telegram group. We share lots of content there. Okay. Curated content. All right. And if you like the session, please give us thumbs up. Share it with your friends and foes and subscribe to MB100 if not done already. All the best.